Hi guys, hope you're all well. It is a Friday afternoon, roughly about 20 past four. Um, I just thought I'd nip to Lidham. I think the high tide today is at 10 to five and sunset is at five o'clock. Now you can look behind me there if I turn the camera a little bit. Um, there's no sunset gonna happen tonight, but um, high tide's coming. There's no wind, it's perfectly still. Um, just looking over towards Wharton Way where I live. Um, there's loads of birds, like a murmuration going on, but I just thought I'd pop out today um, I think about four or five days ago I released a YouTube video um, just with my first thoughts on the new format high-tech um, Mark II holder, the Firescape one and to be honest with you I think I'm actually going to delete that because when I came out last week I kind of rushed to make some content and anybody who knows who does YouTube videos knows that's a, a recipe for disaster so tonight I just thought yeah, so as I was saying, someone shouted Mark then and I tried to wave at them and nearly fell over. Um, so what, what I was actually saying is that um, I tried to publish a video um, last week regarding the new format high-tech um, filter system and I tried to rush out really. I got I jumped out of the car, just put a vlog together and it, do you know what? It's probably going to get deleted because personally I think it's rubbish and if you rush to do these videos, um, they do look rubbish and with, you know, restrictions, time, you know, family and things like that, You've got to wait till you've got a bit more time to do a, a better video. When you have more quality time, then these videos do look better. If you rush out of the house for 10, 15 minutes, try and throw a video together, they look like you've thrown them together. So what I thought I'd do tonight is maybe come and give you, um, there's the holder itself. Um, I just thought I'd give you my first thoughts about it, to be fair, and see how we get on and maybe try and grab a shot. Hi guys, as you can see, there's absolutely no chance of a sunset tonight, although it's quite moody. Um, this is a holder I'm talking about. This is a new, brand new format high-tech 100mm holder. Um, as you can see, the difference with this one is now it's actually got a blue mechanism there for locking onto your polarizer. Um, and once you lock that onto your, your step ring, that will not fall off. Um, you know, if you're like me, where for instance the tide comes in or you go to a seascape, and you want to move and you want to grab all your stuff quickly um, you don't have to worry about this falling off or if you do like astrophotography you put your nightscape filter in there you don't want to worry about capture, capturing it and knocking it off this will not move this will not come off once it once this is tied in on the other side you've got this very easy to roll polarizer also as well with the new holders um, the polarizer is um, 86 mil uh, which allows uh, wider angle lenses i think um, you also get about four three or four or four or five step adapters to fit your individual lenses that you use. Um, very similar to the old one, we have these two guards. These ones do have a gap to allow your neutral density filters to go in, but you also come with two more that have got the solid units which are blanked off, which allow you to do um, 10 stop or 16 stop or 20 stop, 24 stop filters, and they let no light leaks in. Um, so overall, in first impressions, these are really good, um, really impressed with them. And um, when I've had this a little bit longer, like I say, I think I got it last week, I've used it maybe once or twice. To give you a full review, I think if you come back in a two or three weeks time, I'd have more of an idea. But first impressions, these are brilliant. Um, like I say, you lock them onto your filter, you can pick the tripod up as the tide comes in, you can move back. Um, the polarizer with being bigger allows you to have a wider angle lens. Um, 
and yeah, first impressions are really good. Um, you can fit two filters in there. You can also have an adapter which comes with the kit to add a third filter which just screws on. Um, yeah, really good. And these covers come off and come off like that. And I think, like magic, like Paul Daniels, I've got a um, filter there. No struggle to get them in. So if anybody says online that really struggle or they can't get them in, you know, there we go. Look straight away and that's straight out of the box there's two little adjuster allen keys um, no problems at all you don't need to adjust them yes you sometimes might need to tighten them up like any old screw that goes loose it's always handy to check them before you use them um, just in case they come loose but no very simple just to slide on and slide off um, so there you go first impressions I'm gonna try try and get a bit of a mean and moody shot tonight because as you look you can see it's blue the tide is coming in at the moment I think it's about 20 minutes for high tide. I'll just try and get some shots, and if I get any shots, I shall post the images in a bit. So if I just turn the exposure down, just a little bit, you can just see now the light's completely gone, but the reflections are wonderful. This uh, the River Ribble is just like a pond as it usually is, and uh, as you can see there, we've got the guards on now, and the neat little density filter uh, sticking through. There's the boat, Celestial Dawn, but if you can just see the mast in front of the shot there, um, it looks wonderful to be honest. Um, there's lots of geese knocking about, just a couple going over the top there now, towards Southport, but um, I think it's just about sunset now. So this is a shot I'm going to go for, and basically what I'm doing at the moment is I'm actually videoing through the 100 mil holder so just to give you an idea of how things work now if I was to slide first off if I was just to see my fingers here if I was just to slide off a neutral density filter down as we can see look just look at the clouds there this is just a 0 0.6 and as we can see goes to the boat but ideally we would like that just to be above the boat so we can just about lose the horizon and then simply if I just turn the polarizer and the clouds there but you can watch the water below can you see that there just just below us here so if you keep your eye on that I know it's probably wobbling about um, but you can just see how well the polarizer works it gets rid of all the glare and you get some of this reflection and what the aim of the shot is what I'm going to try and do is if I just turn it and what I'm going to try and do carefully is just move the camera on the the pano head and just move I think I like the idea of this sort of a shot there so get rid of the grass get rid of all the grass i've just done one with the grass in portrait mode but as we can see there on the back of the video i just like how this mast um, comes down um and maybe just just a slight just tweaking things just a little bit maybe that's a little bit too dark there maybe lift it up a little bit turn the polar just turn the holder left or right um just adjust the polarizer i quite like that that's a shot. I love these sort of really minimalistic, I can't even say that, simple shots. Let's say that for now. Um, yeah, so I'm going to take the shot in a second and just see how it looks really, to be honest. Simple settings. I'm at um, F11, ISO uh, 100 um, with a three stop filter and the 0 0.6. That is giving me roughly about six seconds now because the light has dropped a little bit. So I'll take the shot and we'll have a look at it in a moment. Mm -hmm. 